check this out, guys. We're about to do a, a pull, pull. All right, we're, about to, we're on the dyno, as you can see. So we're about to set something up. Matter of fact, we get, I got a, finally got a chance to catch this on video, guys. So on Park Garage, man. Let's, let's get it. Notice they got the fan in front of it. I can only assume that's to keep it cool, guys. Y'all see those numbers over there? Get out of this 345, but sound impressive to me, baby. Remember, guys, uh, be extremely careful on a dyno, okay? This is not a plaything. Trying to see how much improvement we have gained. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but he's going to explain to me. I can only assume. What did it do? I'm wiring a uh, wide band, a wide band on two sensors so I can just see what's coming out of the exhaust. Oh, for real? Because you know, whenever you go wide open throttle, it goes into open loop, so your O2 sensors don't do nothing. So it ignores O2 sensors, so I got a wide band that I got wired in. So that way, when I go wide open throttle, I can see what air fuel is. Oh, because it's still trying to maintain emissions, even testing, so that's why you did that. Okay. Anything else I need to know? It's just a typical 345, right? Yeah. yeah, we cammed it. We put a cam. Oh. Yeah, we put a cam. In. Upgrade cam. Yeah. MDS delete. What? Yeah, yeah. We upgrade the cam. MDS delete. Upgrade springs. We got headers on it. What's the goal? I mean, what's, what's, make more power. Make sound, more power. Make more power and sound a little more better. All right. Yeah. That's it, guys. I saw it. I got me some uh So what do we learn from this? It tells us what our what our power band looks like. The blue line is torque, the red line is horsepower. So whenever we go in and do the tune, I can go in and if I see that, you know. It's got a little flat spot, or it's got a little spike. I can go in and change up the, the spark tables on it. Oh, so you have more work to do to it. Oh, oh you okay? You yeah, done? Sir. So you did? Right. Do you do one before and then after to see if there was improvement? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we do it before, we do it after. You know, we do it uh, a couple while we're going. You know, a, a lot of a lot of these. I mean, I already got you know, I already got enough data on a lot of these cams that we do. Oh. Know, for the for. The, a majority of the people that we do, we already we probably got you know three or four grinds that we choose from that we've already done enough R and D on that. You know, depending on what their goals are, we'll say you know go with this can, go with this can. And I pretty much got all the data that I need. I'm pretty much almost dialed in in the first tune I put in there. I just got to dial it in. Just little stuff here and there, you know, from car to car. You know, every every car is going to be a little bit different. Right. Some cars I might need to add a little more fuel here or there, add a little more spark here or there. But yeah, I'll, I'll do a pull on it. You know, as long as the torque curve is nice, you know, is nice and smooth. You know, I don't got no drop offs. You know, I'm not picking up no. That's what uh, you're looking for. When you, yeah, I'm not picking up no knock. You know, my logs. You know, from the knock sensors. If I'm picking up knock, that means I'm getting detonation or something like that. You know, inside the engine. You know, detonation's bad. You know, we start yeah. no pistons. What do we? What do we, fuel? That's fuel, required. Yeah, bad, bad fuel. Too octane. much. You know, too much. Uh, you know, you know, low grade fuel. You know, low octane. Or you're running too much ignition time in, you know. Okay. Um, if you got oil getting in there, you know, a lot of, a lot of times oil can get in there and you can have ignition off of oil. Cool. That's what's up. So, my man should be happy, huh? He should be happy. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what it's all about, people.
All right, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all staying tuned, man. Uh, I'm getting ready to go live, so y'all hang out with me for. I ain't gonna be on no more than 30 minutes because these guys want to get home to their families. I can understand that. So what I'm gonna do uh, hit over here, set up real quick. Got some more work to do oh, on this thing. Too, what am I hearing? <laughs> oh. All right, guys. So walk around for a minute. Uh uh. Look at this monster here. Woo. Got both heads off. Chopped everything from the bottom. Trans engine complete. That looked like a HB ZF transmission. The intake sitting over there, so. Yeah, got a little work to do on this one, guys. Quite a bit of work, all right? Not sure what's going on over here, but I see this pistons I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, got another kit set up for this. Look at these guys. The the way they got it all set up, the carefulness that there was intake covered up, guys. All that stuff plays a very important role. Okay, there go that Challenger that was hiding outside. Look at that. I have no idea what's going on with that. Who knows? That one they hiding this one in the back, guys. That's this is the G14 classified area back here, guys. So I might not even should be looking at that. So we're gonna go this way, guys. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm getting ready to load up live stream. All right, uh, let's get it, man. Enough is enough. Got the whole complete exhaust system out of here. Oh, this is a BD345, guys. Man, let's get it. Ooh, welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel, guys. What's going on out there? That's right, man. It's your boy, JT. The car guy. All right. Uh, now, my location needs no introduction, right? Duction, all park garage. Uh, in fact, allparkgarage.com. If y'all got any high performance issues. Okay. Now, from time to time, this dude would jump online with me or jump on the on the live stream with me and we'd tag team some, some, uh, some issues and some questions people may have concerning uh, their high performance vehicle. Most of the guys are uh, 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 do-it-yourselfers, so they would try to, you know what I'm saying, they would try to better their car themselves, and they may need verbal advice, all right? Um, I don't think the guys, fellas, have no problem with that, okay? But for the most part, um, they, they don't really like the phone ringing for nonsense or, you know, bull crap. So keep it professional, guys. Now, uh, I say today Thursday, one more day, and uh, the weekend is here. 